top of the morning. I had to take a few moments to talk to y'all today and uh, make sure I remind you guys uh, never to forget about your passion. You know, I know you guys are busy working all caught up in life, trying to pay your bills, trying to take care of your kids, trying to put them in school, do the homework, everything that you need to do. But, you know, don't ever forget about yourself, your dreams, your aspirations, you know, what you wanted to do with your life, you know, because this is just temporary. What you're doing right now is is the temporary current situation that you're in based on the circumstances of your life but your circumstances in life will always change based on your thoughts and actions so you know i beg of you to make better thoughts and actions in the future that will lead you in the right direction toward your dreams and toward your passion you know, because just because you might be a fry cook working in a greasy kitchen, getting yelled at and treated like crap all day, you know, that's your right now. You're doing that because you need to pay your bills. But if you want to be a musician and, you know, you can't be a musician now, you can't just quit your job and be a musician. But that doesn't mean it's over for you. It was never over for you. You know, you can take the time right now. You can you can take a little bit of money out of each paycheck Can go buy a guitar if you don't have one or buy a piano if you don't have one, a little keyboard for 50 or $100, and you can start practicing in your free time. A little bit in the morning before work, a little bit at night after work, maybe on your lunch break in your car after you eat your sandwich. You know, you could practice that instrument multiple times a day, no matter how many jobs you have. I don't care, there's no excuses. You know, you could sacrifice a half hour of sleep to learn how to play your instrument if you really want to be a musician. And so why, why live a lie your whole life? Why live with regrets? Go to the grave with regrets under your belt because you didn't do what you wanted to do with your life and you weren't happy and you just kept doing what you thought you were supposed to do. And then one day you just woke up and, and you were old and it was over. And now you're, you, you can't move like you used to. You can't mountain climb and go ice skating or, or play on a sports team or whatever it was that you wanted to do so bad or wherever you wanted to go. You don't want to wait until it's too late and you just don't have that opportunity anymore. And so, you know, time is very valuable. Time is our most valuable asset, guys. So just do your best, you know, seriously. Make the best use of your time. Stay focused. You know, remember what your goal is. Remember what that dream is or whatever, whatever it is that you want to do. If you want to start a business, you know, every day try to take steps toward that. Write it down on a piece of paper. Set goals in the right direction toward that and fight for that, guys. If you really want it, you're gonna fight for it i know you guys will fight for it if you want it you know i wanted to be free i wanted financial freedom i wanted to work for myself all my life i wanted to work for myself you know i ran my own little side businesses and everything like that and you know now i'm all grown up and i haven't worked for the man in years three four years now i haven't had to have a job and even before that, it was just part time just because I wanted to work. And the last time I was actually employed by somebody else, I was just helping a buddy out. You know, he was shorthanded in a kitchen. And, and I said, dude, I'll come help you for a few months and help you get it together. And once he had it together, I went my, my own separate way and he was thankful. And I can go back whenever I want, you know. And so keep the doors open always, you know. Because you don't want to like, you know, like Steve Harvey's story, you know, uh, quit your job to be a comedian and then live in your car for three years, you know, getting kicked off of people's land for fishing so you could have something to eat, you know. And so, you know, maybe start what, what you want to do before you quit your job. I did it in the midst. I had stuff going, um, but I'm, I had the rough road too, you know? When you wanna take the leap of faith and do your own thing in life, it's it's not gonna be easy, you know? There's obstacles, there's there's gonna there's gonna be some hoops to jump through, but if, if, if it was really worth it, then you're gonna love it. You'll live a very happy life, so much more happy than you would've if you would've just lived a lie worked your job or, or wasted your eight year degree or whatever, whatever. There's a lot of regrets you can take to the grave and you don't want one of them being that you didn't live 
the life that you wanted, that you didn't live to the fullest, that you didn't give it your all and make all the memories you could while you had time. So, you know, always remember what's important, guys. You know, you only live once, your time is short, and time is valuable. So wake up early, stay up late, get as much done as possible, learn as much, because the more that you learn, the more money you can make, the more money you can save, the less taxes you'll have to pay, the more you can outsource all your work to other people, and then all of this results in more money and less time taken, and then you can use all that money and all that time to go do better things, you know, to actually go on vacation and go ride around on a yacht all day long or go sit on a tropical island and sip mojitos you know so and this isn't far-fetched this is real stuff guys thoughts become things so think about what you really want in life and focus on that and stay positive no matter what guys you know whenever you have those negative thoughts crush them stomp them out don't let the naysayers get to you don't let that negativity get to you guys because you guys know what's important so focus on you focus on your future i love you guys very much and uh please subscribe to the channel like this video if you got any value out of it you know i started this channel so that way you know hopefully i could get this monetized and i can help some hungry children overseas you know i don't really need the money from this channel this is just a i just want to share some information with you guys inspire you guys remind you guys what's important and in the process if i can get some view share out of this i'm gonna just put most of the money right toward charity guys so uh subscribe to the channel spread the word and i'll see you guys on the next one love you lots